Yo guys, we guys, that's right, I'm back when I walk in the, I mean, with another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. Last one left off, well, I don't know what the hell Dutch just did now, but uh, now we've got the whole army chasing the two of us. Anyway, sorry about that. Sorry about the recording one over 60 minutes, I should have said that. But anyway, so let me just shut in. Let's get straight onto it. Again, die! Oh my god, that's a lot of them. That's it, your fault, Dutch! And wasn't that the bridge we just blew up? Where are these all coming from anyway? Where are they even coming from anyway? My this god, that's a lot of them. Oh, I think we need to jump! There's more... After this, I'm going to go and get reduce all my uh, max up all my cores. We need to jump now. Well, Arthur, put your hands up. I said, put your damn hands up. Okay, okay. Follow my lead. I got a plan. Let me guess. We got to jump. Hello, officers. You keep them hands up and come here. Put your hands up. Hello, Captain. Keep your hands up and come here. Sorry. Come here. We, uh, we can't do that. Your man, those men they killed, they were good men. You're fighting nature, Captain. Get over here. Sorry, no can do. That's bye bye. Here. My whole life, I tried to fight change. It's a waste. I see that. Now, it's waste. You can't fight nature, Captain. You can't fight change. You can't fight. Gravity. Bye bye. Wait, we better survive this. All right, we did. This is one of your craziest ideas ever, Dutch, and they're still shooting at us. Jesus. You're okay. <laughs> You're okay. Uh, what a mess. Agreed. I know. Seriously, Dutch, what that was what what the hell was that you pulled? We just escaped from chaos. Eagle the chaos you created, taken, man. Taken or killed. Well, we can't go find out. No. Not now. Charles. I'll, we'll send them. Where is it? He's probably back at camp. Let's split up. I'll go tell them. You rest up. Keep a lookout. Agreed. We are gonna make it, brother. I can feel it. I don't know if I can hey, feel Arthur. it, Dutch. Have faith.
Why do I keep seeing that, you know? Might as well do Trulani's machine, but first. Sadie Adler? What does he what does she want? Mrs. Sadie Adler, widow. Ooh, this should be interesting. I'll go check that out. And of course it's gonna be a long jail. But first Wait, hold on. I'm gonna see if I can quit travel after after I do some fishing, I'm gonna go see if I can quit travel. After some quick travel. Right, you back in, back in you get. Off you go then. There we go. There. That's how that never happened again. No damn time for you. I'm not gonna cause any trouble here, Mister. All right then. Let's see. I think I, I think I did quit trouble with the camp with that. So I might as well go head back to camp with it. Yes, fast travel.
There we go. Sadie, you need any help? Mrs. Adler? You okay? No, no. You sure? No, I ain't sure. You still working? Is anybody still working? The whole goddamn place full of people bickering, fighting, and lying. It makes me real sad. I know. I need someone to ride with me. Sure. Finish off them of Driscoll's. I hear the last of them is holed up at Hanging Dog Ranch. I don't have it in me no more. I saw a calm swing. I, I just don't care. I was a married woman. You know what they did to me. And to I know. Husband, like you're the only one of these fools that I trust. What about Abigail? I've got to do this. Sure. Why not? Okay. Let's finish off these other schools. Let's do it. I'll tell you what. I'll do it. But there's something you can help me with. Abigail? Jack, John, make sure they make it. I mean, this mm. whole thing is pretty much done. Agreed. But when the time comes. Or how do you mean? When the time comes, you help them. What do you mean? I mean, help them escape. When I. You know, you and me, we're more ghosts than people. But them, they, they could. I know. Good. Of course I will. Thank you. Thank you, Arthur. You want to ride I... now or meet me up at Hanging Dog Ranch when you can? Let's do it now. Thanks, Arthur. Let's do this. Okay. Let's finish off these adjustables while we can. I do not want them to grow. And that's at least one gun we can... That's at least one, least ga one last gun we're going be to be worried about. Why do we always keep, why do we always keep seeing a stag? Not off as animal or something? There's a deer. This is Sadie Adler, Widow 2. I see. Find more for killing. Hey. Let's do this. You seen anything down there? Yeah, I think there's a bunch of them down there. I'm mostly drunk. Sorry. But one of them, is that fat fellow with a beard, him, he's mine. Did he kill your husband? Okay. It's what are you gonna do after this? Wait, hold on. Down. Lots of folk there, but spread pretty thin. I'll set it off, and then we'll we'll take it from there. Take it from there. Okay. So, no. Sorry, Sadie. I just need to go get some weapons. Real plan, then. Oh, I got a plan. Now, come on. Coming. That way.
I'm all, I cleared the bond. That way. That was one. That was a sneaky one. I'm coming. Sadie, you in here? Sadie, where are you? Whoa, Sadie, calm down. Whoa. Jesus. You okay? You okay? Yeah. He was a good man, my Jakey. Sweet on one another. I'm sorry. I'm sure. Yeah. I miss him every day, every moment. Oh, they turned me into a monster, Arthur. But my memories of him, they still pure. And I'm sure they are. I ain't even got that. <laughs> Aside from my Jake, you're the best man I've known. I know the company you keep. The competition ain't too fierce. <laughs> we, uh, we should get away from her. Yeah. I think I need to be alone for a bit. Sure. I understand. I'll see you back at camp when yeah. I see you. I want to yeah. get yourself cleaned up. Thank you, Arthur. No problem. No problem. Far away from camp. Quick travel it. Sorry. I'm far away from the hideout. I'm very far away. There we go. Alright, quick travel out. Back to Beaver Hollow.
we are. Man, that was heavy. I'm glad Sadie finally, finally has, uh, you know. And I guess she, I uh, see she's back at camp then. Hey, Jack. How you doing? Happy go. Hey, happy camp. I don't like this, Arthur. Me neither. How you doing? Confused, worried. What's happened to all you boys? I have no idea. Just keep your head down for now. I suppose so. Jack? You okay, Jack? Is Mr. Strauss gone? Uh, yeah. He had to leave. Sorry. Mm. Well, don't give up on everything just yet. Sure, Uncle Arthur. Mm. Hey, Trelawney? I know you're still here. Wait, hold on. Before I do anything, I need to go and uh, show you myself. Tony, wait. Why do you have a suitcase? Are you leaving? Just right. I um, I was uh, leaving again. Yes, just leaving. I'll see you soon. Perhaps. I, know. I don't think uh, so. What do you mean? Well, if I was you, I'd disappear too. This is all pretty much over. <laughs> but I'll be back. No, you won't. Let's not pretend no more. Get out of here. Good luck. I'll miss you, Arthur. You've been a fine friend to me. Oh, yeah, well, me let's too. Not get over sentimental. Come on, the place is quiet. Get out of here. You go with my blessing. Thank you, Arthur. Go. I'll see you later. Maybe I don't know. Well, tsunami has gone. Found a friend looking for you. Rainsfall. Sir. What are you doing here? How are you? Good. A better. You? I hope so. How can I help you? I'm sorry to impose on you again, but I believe I've made progress brokering peace. Really? Yep. I believe so. Colonel Favors has agreed to a meeting to discuss and maybe resolve his alleged grievances and mine. Now, he has lied to me more times than I care to remember, but maybe this time he must want peace. Why could he possibly want to humiliate us further? I don't know. For his kind, but they're colloquial. Uh, perhaps I could make one last request. My men are not allowed to carry arms. You want us to keep the peace? Yeah, it'll be a lot of dull talking and ceremony. But I feel with some non-tribe members present, their chances of lying or worse will be reduced. Will you, Arthur? Sure, why not? It ain't my business, brother. No, I know. But it is mine. I know, Charles. Sir! Charles, I got it. I've saved your life. Do it for me. I was already going to do it anyways. Besides, I still have rain's full. You should have him do your negotiation. Let's go. He's a good man. Charles is. I'm glad he hasn't died yet. I, I don't... Don't jinx myself, you idiot. <sighs> If Charles dies, I'm so out. Let's go, boy. This way. I also have some men meeting me there. Sure. Sure if you'd be able to help. Thank you for doing this, both of you. You have already done so much. Ain't a problem. Just hope nobody recognizes me. I've had a few run-ins with the army recently. I wish we could have done more to control the situation. That shouldn't have gotten involved. Now Eagle flies us under arrest. Wait, what? It certainly won't help our case today. I will find a way to help him. I promise you. They got Eagle flies? Ah, oh, Dutch! I told you this would happen. Well, not really, but I told you something bad would happen. But when our people are sick and hungry, and we find our medicine and supplies are being deliberately withheld, how can we not view that as something personal? I don't know why I've gotten into these people nowadays. How can I convince Eagle Flies and the others that they shouldn't fight back? Maybe that's part of the reason they're doing these things. Because they want you to fight. To be able to say, look, you see how these savages behave? Perhaps. 
Thank you for helping Captain hey Sorry, Alpha. Sorry, Charles. You will be at the meeting and there's one person who knows the true situation at least. Alright, that's good. I still have hope that we can come to an agreement. I don't know if we can, really. No offense, but, uh... Well, Captain Momo told me. I don't, I don't know if this guy is willing to do any nego- any- He's willing to, uh, you know, uphold the peace. Let's hope this works. Well, I mean, let's hope this goes peaceful. After you, Chief. Monroe. Captain Monroe, we come in peace. Hello again. Who are these two? They're friends. Friends of my people. Interesting looking fellows. Yeah, they won't cause any trouble. Well, I should hope not. Yeah. Listen, Mr. <coughs> Chief. Yes, uh, Mr. I can't say that silly name. In English, they call me Rain's Fall. Yes, yes, I'm mine. Uh, I'm sure they do. Listen, we're all Americans here. I'm going to go in there. Want an outcome. But quite frankly, quite frankly, I, I'm confused. Your men are little more than criminals. Criminals? That people just like you. Peace treaties we've made causing disturbances in everybody's lives. But I pride myself on being a gentleman. Really, I do. But there are limits. Jesus. With well, the way this guy's talking, I can see why look why uh favors wait no wait Monroe doesn't really like him. I don't think I like him either. So, Sorry be it's... Very... Are you okay man? I'm sorry Jax, take him away. Where was I? You're Sorry. Men with limits? Are you being facetious, sir? Come this way, buddy. I said, are you being facetious, Captain Monroe? No, sir, I am not. Chief hey. Rains. That's uh, Rains' fault. Exactly. Yeah. Chief Rains. The thing it's quite is, a cough. I know. Sure. Wait here. I'll fetch you some water. Thanks. I'll be fine. Thank you. No, no. You know he's going to have Monroe court martial. What the hell is this? He's going to make a disgrace of him. Monroe? He seems likable enough for a West Pointer. Why? You know what Favors is like. Because he thinks it's right. Because he thinks Monroe is a patsy. Or a spy. Uh-oh. He he had something to do with those vaccines getting stolen. He thinks Monroe... He's gonna force him into making a concession with the Indians. So he removes Monroe. Well, removes how? Oh, dear. Favors wants him tried for treason and hanged. We need to get him out of here. Because he doesn't want to back down. 
his whole professional life. You know what they say about him. High tail favors. The this is bad. Battle. Poor Monroe. Kind of liked him. I know. We need to help him. Well, still, he's kind of stuck up. Feeling better? Yeah. I'm good. <coughs> Let's go. <coughs> yes, it's you currently occupy belong to the United States government. Why is this so confusing, sir? Why? Good day, Colonel Favors. Well, that was remarkably unproductive. <gasps> so? I'm afraid the federal government was quite clear, Colonel. That it wanted peace and peace without no problem, and that the treaty had not been broken by anybody. Oh, is that so, sir? And did it want impudence, sir, from a junior officer in public? Was that its plan, too, sir? You insult me. You insult the regiment. Arrest this man. Arrest me. Gross insubordination. Get them out of there now. Treason. Are you mad? You had those vaccines stolen. You disrupted a negotiation. Ah. Uh -uh. Go. This is all getting out of hand. Hi, right, Captain Monroe. Huh? Let's get out of here. Hi, Come with us now if you want to live. Shut, amigo. I don't want to kill this man, but shout off me. Charles, Captain Monroe, mount up now. We're getting out of here. Don't be dumb. You won't get away with this. Open fire! Ah! <laughs> Look up behind the pets and up. I can't shoot at these men. Yeah, but we can. Look out, they're still coming. Man, please hold your fire. Ah! Hold your fire. Kill them. Come on! How is that hard? How is that hard? How is that so hard? Seriously. Bye-bye. That's too many of them. Get on! Ah! 
Oh, that's good, that's how I went down with. Sorry about that. What do we do now? I had no idea. Fast. Take you to the station. Yeah, go into hiding. Just happened. Sorry I about that. You, man, my whole life. I heard them talking. They was gonna have you hang for treason. You can't die for those fools. And what about the chief? We'll do what we can. I guess I won't be submitting my report. I wouldn't think so. Hey, get on the train as guys far away as you can from here. Disappear. Mr. Monroe from now on. I'm sorry about your career. Sorry about that, sir. It's something to hold you over at least. Here's some money. You take it and get out of here. Start a new life somewhere. This is a pill while you can. Nice. Thank you. Just hop on a train of sand and eat, jump on a boat. But avoid Guam. Where? Forget about it. Trust me. Ooh. Meet me at the reservation. Alright, see you there. Morgan! Sister, are what are you okay? doing here? No. Never better. What are you doing here? I'm on my way down to Mexico. They're really? They're really sending me on a mission. Uh. Brother Dorkins is very jealous. Uh. <laughs> Ooh, sit down. <laughs> so, how you been? What's wrong? Long story, but Arthur's got a disease and uh I'm dying, sister. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, I got TB. I got it. Beating a man to death. <clears throat> yeah. For a few bucks. I've lived a bad life, sister. We've all lived bad lives, Mr. Morgan. We all sin. But I know you. You don't know. Do you really? Forgive me, but that's the problem. You don't know you. What do you mean? I don't know, but whenever we happen to meet, you're always helping people and smiling. I had a son. Hmm. He passed away. I had a girl who loved me. I threw that away. My mama died when I was a kid. And my daddy... Well, I watched him die. That weren't soon enough. My husband died a long time ago. Really? Life is full of pain. But there is also love and beauty. What am I going to do now? Be grateful that for the first time, you see your life clearly. Sure. Perhaps you could help somebody. Help him makes you really happy. Mm. <sighs> but I still don't believe in nothing. <laughs> Often, neither do I. <laughs> but then I meet someone like you. And everything makes sense. Really now? <laughs> That's funny. You're too smart for me, sister. <sighs> I guess I... I'm afraid. There is nothing to be afraid of, Mr. Morgan. Take a gamble that love exists and <laughs> do a loving act. All aboard! 
Well, I guess that's you going then. Uh, it's good. Try. It's I nice to see you again, you Miss. Yeah. Bye bye. Goodbye, goodbye, Mr. Morgan. Mm. Goodbye, good luck on your mission, sister. Miss Sister. Yeah, while I'm here, I might as well go receive some mail and clear up any bounties I have. In the meantime, however, no, I know it. It's fine. It's cool. Oh, sorry. Sorry. First off, I need to pay off my bounty, please. Then, mail. Another invitation for Mayor Lemix. You know what? I might as well go here first. Straight here. But for, uh, fortunately, guys, that's Kyle right here. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, please smash subscribe for more deep like this. And hit, and hit the notification bell to see notifications about those. See you guys next video. Peace out.